Welcome to What Is, a series where we examine some of the more complex questions around the America's Cup. In episode one, we answer the question on everyone's mind. What is foiling and how does it work? To answer this question, we've turned to our North Sales experts to fill us in. Watch and find out. The America's Cup is an arms race in sailing innovation. And for the last three decades, North Sales has been a part of this technological development. The 36th America's Cup is no different as we see boats flying and hitting unprecedented speeds. It's clear now that there are two ways to sail. There's traditional displacement sailing, and then there's foiling. The term foiling refers to the use of hydrofoils. These are attached to the hull, and much like an aeroplane, they allow the boat to lift out of the water once the boat gains speed. It's a snowball effect. Once it gets going, it rapidly accelerates until it's knocked off its foils. Also, the boats reach these higher speeds because there's less drag from the hull. On the AC-75 you have twin canting T-foils with a wingspan of 4 meters each. Although the foil cant arms and their hydraulics are supplied to each team as one design component, the foil wings themselves, at the end of each arm, are open for each team to design. So, how does it work? First off, it's important to note that there's a crazy amount of components all coming together at once. In a matter of seconds, boats go from displacement sailing at 10 or 12 knots to flying above the water at astonishing speeds of 40 plus knots. With the foils themselves, it's all about physics, specifically Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. With the foil wing underneath the water, you're creating a pressure difference above the wing and below it, and it does that by accelerating the fluid flow. The teams accelerate the flow on one side with a flap that generates camber. This then accelerates the flow over the top, and the pressure drops, creating lift. In other words, the boat presses down, and the water pushes up. Let's recap. Once you get going, you're creating your own momentum, like sledding. The faster you go, the more flow you have over your foils and your sails. There are a few things to be aware of though. One is cavitation. Cavitation happens when you speed up the water over the foil so much that you literally boil the water at room temperature. You turn what's liquid into gas and the density drops by 800 times. You suddenly lose your ability to hold flight out of the water. Now let's talk about foil size. Just like sails, there are different sized foils that will be more effective depending on the conditions for the day. When the wind is light, a larger foil helps to lift the boat out of the water sooner, but more size creates more drag, which slows you down. On the other hand, smaller foils create less drag when you're flying, but it's harder to get the boat up in the first place. At these speeds, wasted seconds could be the difference between winning and losing. We hope this gives you a better understanding of what's happening out on the race course. Stand by for our next episode of What Is. Hit the subscribe button below and make sure to tune in to all the North Sales coverage of the 36th America's Cup.